Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about the uh, DeLonghi EC155 Espresso Maker. And uh, I, I really like this machine. I think it gives out a really good coffee. For the price, I think it's your best bank for the price. Uh, but it does have a lot of shortcoming and some positive things. So uh, let me uh, go over the parts here. This is the porta filter. It comes with the basket. And as you can see, it's a, it's a it just lays down. There's no spring or anything. So uh, if you wanted to uh, tap the uh, coffee after it's done, you push this down to kind of hold it, but I don't do that. I just take it out and hold it from this part and just tap it on on the side of a, of a of a trash can. Now you can see it has these notches here and they align with these notches right there. It also comes with the smaller one. This is a double shot and it also comes with um, a single shot. And the single shot is located under the flap here and I haven't used it so it, it just gives me too little coffee for me to actually use it this is the water reservoir it's one liter and it's removable so that's great and uh, also you can tell the water level from right there now this is the big problem with this machine it's just way too short to be able to put anything under the uh, steaming wand. I mean if you have a very shallow canister you could do it but in general I found that it's one big limitation so I put it over something to be able to use it. It also comes with a tamper but I found that this tamper is just really really bad. It's uh, You really need to tamper the coffee pretty well to get a good dis a good shot out of uh, this machine. If we look a little on the bottom of where the water comes out, you can see this element and this rubberized ring, and the rubberized ring keeps the uh, the pressure in the vessel. This is the uh, dial, and you got the zero, which is off, the little squiggly thing, which puts the machine on and starts warming up the coil and the water. This will let the machine start pumping out water through the uh, porta filter, and this one is for steaming the milk. This dial needs to be always at the minus part, which opens and closes a valve that releases pressure through this wand. This uh, little plate is removable, as well as the entire uh, catcher here and I guess you could decide if you wanted to remove this and put uh, the cup or whatever you want on the bottom but then you won't have uh, you want a catcher so I, I've had this machine for about a month now and uh, I can honestly say that uh, I think it's a good value great coffee I'm I'm happy with the with the coffee and the crema that comes from it. I did notice that you have it depends on the coffee uh, that you get. All right, so what I do, I basically just fill the hopper up as much as I can and tamp it using the tamper. This hopper is 50 a little over 52 millimeters, but because of uh manufacturing tolerances and stuff, I would say 50 if you buy a 52 millimeter tamper, you should be cool. I bought a 50 millimeter tamper just because it was cheap. I'm cheap. Nah. But you know what I'm saying. All right, so let's uh, let's put some coffee in the uh, porta filter. All right. All right. Now, really, the trick is. You really got to get a good press, um, otherwise, otherwise you're not, 
you're not taking advantage of the pressurized water that, uh, that's coming from the machine. So you want to get a nice good seal and you want the water to permeate and be forced throughout the entire puck. So give it a good tamp. They say between 30 and 40 pounds of force uh, should be used. And uh, I think this is good enough. And let me show you how it should look like. So that's how it should look like. Oops. So uh, let me uh, put it in the machine. Do not, uh, do not, you don't need to close it too much, but uh, because it's pressurized, it needs, um, it does need a good seal. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's start the brewing part. As you can notice, there's a really nice creme, or crema, really nice. You can see how it kind of goes all the way down. And what I do, it doesn't stop automatically, so you got to stop it. I stop it. And I let it, and I, and I move it to my actual cup right here which I warmed up with some water so that it doesn't get cold right away. So I just dump it here. See the nice crema? And I run it again. And first I wait for the water to get warm again. And when it does, it gets to okay. And I run it again. Again, this thing draws 35 watts when it's pumping. So I guess the uh, heating element doesn't work at the same time while it's pumping. All right, so I got I got two shots out of it. Two shots out of it and now let's uh, let's mix some milk as soon as you're done with the porta filter move this one to to the steam setting on the dial and what it's going to do it's going to warm up the water really well to get the steam and uh, at some point it's the okay green light will show up And the other part that I recommend is taking out this part and dumping the used coffee right away and cleaning the basket because you don't want this to get dry. It's going to be really hard to get out of the basket. And what I do, I just take this thing part out, just take the basket out and hold it from this part and tap it on the side of the garbage can and it just falls off. The way they want you to do it is to flip this plastic over to hold the uh, basket while you're using this to tamp it on the garbage can or whatever uh, element that you're using. But I just found it to be very clumsy and um, that's how I do it. And that's how it looks like after you tap it in the garbage. And yeah, obviously you just now have to rinse it. We have hot water, the green light is on. So let me move the video camera a little right there. And what I do, basically I get uh, some milk. I'll put it some, some milk here. I, I move this over here and let it run a little to get the water out of the system. Okay, pull it back out, 
get the uh, the um, the cup that I've used and start foaming it all the way to the um, plus side. Now the point is is to get a nice cream and to get the milk to about 160 degrees. And as you can see, the boiler started running again and again, 930 watts. That's what uh, it's going at. Okay, the water right now is at 126 degrees, 130, and it's going to climb pretty quick. Oh, not the milk, I'm saying. 150. 156, and we can stop it. As you can see, we've got a really nice froth here. Really nice froth. Let me try to get a nice shot here. So we got the coffee, we got the cream. We want, uh, I'm, I'm making a cappuccino, so uh, it's one third milk, and the rest is gonna be the, uh, the cream. Eh. And that this is why you need a good uh, um, a good frother um, canister. I just didn't get one because I couldn't find anything that would fit on there. And I just got lazy at some point. But uh, as you can see, really, really nice cream, creamy um, froth in here. And if you do it right, you're going to get excellent coffee. Guarantee. Now, at this point, wipe, wipe the elements. Wipe the machine. Turn it off. And... Um, also, I tend to wash the bottom of where the canister went to. So I, I tend to wash this part, uh, not wash, but wipe this part, this part, and this part where the uh, water came out. And uh, that's about it. I really like this machine. I think, I think it is worth whatever they're asking for. Uh, and uh, this is probably the only cheap machine that you can get that um, will give you a, a really good coffee. Uh, the only minus is, is really the height of the machine, which could be uh, accommodated by putting it over some pedestal. And the fact it's that it's not a dual boiler where, where you have to wait for the uh, uh, steaming part portion to get hot enough and uh, it does have uh, not the uh, biggest or wide hopper for uh, for the coffee but it really gives out really good coffee I'm I'm very happy with it now one more test I wanted to show you is how hot does the coffee come out from the machine and by the way it is drawing 965 wattage right now, so it does heat the water also when it pumps when it needs to. So the coffee is coming out at... This is 160 degrees. Alright, so I decided to make another test, and this test is to see what is the temperature of the water when it comes out of the machine and not when it comes out after it was extracted because that's not a fair test to actually see what the temperature is so i let the machine run for about five minutes uh it's in idle mode and let's uh, run the pump
Uh, so this is at 186, 185. So let me let me dump the water here, and we'll we're gonna run it again. Uh, we're gonna wait for it to stabilize again as far as the temperature here. And here we go. I'm gonna try to get it from the. So I'm getting 192. Which I, I think it's acceptable. And uh, that's the reason why we're getting good coffee out of this machine. Alright, so uh, if you like this video, please, please, thumb up, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. If you have any comments, questions, just put it in the bottom uh, in the comment section. And I'll be happy to answer as best as I can. Alright, till next time. Bye.